So today, uh, Jan Sub introduced uh, the two earlier platforms from Sci-5. So I'm going to be telling you about the next platform uh, we called uh, Freedom Revolution. Um, so I just want to start out by spending a little time explaining what we mean by a chip platform at Sci-5. Um, so a chip platform is uh, something that enables customers to design a custom SOC. So when you design a custom SOC with a Freedom Chip platform, you start with a pre-integrated but configurable base SOC architecture. And this includes processors, interconnect, on-chip IP, off-chip interfaces. Uh, we have a catalog of Sci-5 and uh, design share partner third-party IP that you can pull into that SOC design. And finally, most customers are doing this because they have some customer IP they want to integrate with the, the base that we have. So that's the general model as a, a chip platform. Um, and what we do is we build, to make this tractable, what we do is build each platform for a specific technology. And so the two that we previously announced is a um, Freedom Everywhere is a TSMC 180 nanometer uh, technology chip platform. And the other is Freedom Unleashed, which is a TSMC 28 nanometer uh, technology. So I just want to talk about those a little bit more. Um, so Freedom Everywhere, it's a 32-bit um, low-power microcontroller platform. Uh, and this uh, manufactured in TSMC 180. This can be configured with our E3 class. Uh, E3 series cores or our E2 series cores, newer cores. Um, it supports a bunch of features. We produce development boards, so the Hi-5-1, you may be familiar with. This was the first commercial RISC-V SOC. Um, so this board actually is now sold out. Um, stay tuned, we have a refresh, a new version of this board coming out um, sometime soon. Um, and just to show you what we've been doing with uh, Freedom Everywhere. This is uh, just a sample of some of the different tape outs we've done in this 180 nanometer uh, technology. So these are different cores, E2 and E3 series cores, different collections of peripherals, different memory sizes. So this is an example of we have a common chip template, but it can produce quite different designs uh, at the same time. Um, and these include a mixture of, there's also a bunch of analog I.O. blocks on here. Um, and just for your interest, um, this is the FE310, the very first commercial RISC-5 SOC. And we're also, uh, I think over in the booth, you can check out OnChip's um, chip, which is this one here. Right, so these are a couple of designs we've done. Uh, just to give you some ex example of the variety in the tape out you get when you, you play with this uh, chip platform. So Freedom Unleashed is a 28 nanometer platform. This includes a multi-core Linux capable cache coherence system. Um, and the FU540 is the chip we've had out, out there for a while on the i5 Unleashed. Um, uh, so this has been available since the beginning of the year uh, on this dev board, and there are more boards available, I believe, at Crowd Supply. Um, so this has been uh, quite widely used to bring up the software ecosystem around uh, Linux. So those are existing uh, platforms. So one thing is, so the platform is a technology of set of IP. It's configured to work well together, and we develop the software platform around that, that whole environment. Uh, another level that sits above the chip platform is what we call a template. And a template is where you take all those pieces and you pre-configure a lot of those as starting points for a given application domain. So Yonsep mentioned the, the chip designer. So on there we have um, a few examples of these templates. You can go look at the preview. Uh, so for Freedom Everywhere, we have um, templates here for a low-power MCU, intelligence sensor, or a security key. So these are, we can set up a bunch of the IP ahead of time. You can add your own thing to that starting point. And then for Freedom Unleashed, there's also a number of templates available, um, like apps processor, SSD controller, AI camera, SLC. All right, so these are templates that build on top of the platform. And these are really just convenient starting points. So you don't have to do all that work again of assembling the, the right set of components. Um, so there's a preview of Chip Designer that's up live on uh, sci5.com, so you can go take a look uh, there. So today, uh, what I wanted to do was introduce um, Freedom Revolution. Um, this is the next. Uh, one of our platforms that we're bringing out. Um, so this is designed, uh, the technology here is TSMC 16 nanometer, and it's designed for high bandwidth AI and also networking applications, though I'll focus on the AI applications today. Um, so uh, we're incorporating the Sci-5 7 series cores. These are ones that we announced just recently. Um, so both embedded and Unix versions of the 7 series. The 7 series is, uh, Jack just gave a presentation on that, Jack Kang a little bit earlier today. Um, those are dual issue in order super scalar cores, and we're working on uh, extending those with uh, high performance vector units as well. Um, there's cache coherent Tarlink interconnect. Uh, um, 
So this system supports uh, HBM2 memory interfaces up to 2.4 gigabits per second per pin, HBM2. I'll talk more about that. Uh, also, uh, we support uh, Certes links going up to 112 gigs. And these are coming from our partner, Credo, who's providing those Certes, and we've been integrating those. Um, another thing we've seen a lot of interest in is interlocking as a chip-to-chip -chip protocol. Um, and that's something uh, we're building into this platform, as well as high-speed Ethernet going up to uh, much higher speeds, uh, 40 gigabits and, and above. One thing I'll mention here is that in, in earlier this year, um, Sci-5 acquired OpenSilicon, and so some of this IP was actually on the OpenSilicon side. Uh, we've been working hard with our, our colleagues there, bringing together to help make this platform possible. Um, so to give you an overview of the sort of template for a freedom level revolution design, this is kind of a sort of cartoon block diagram of what the chip looks like. So what we're combining here is um, memory system based on HBM2s. So this gives you incredible high memory bandwidth, um, you know, configurable one, two, four stacks of HBM. Uh, the channel controllers connect into the Tilink fabric. Um, we also have uh, connections off chip to a bunch of different things. So you can have um, to a host interface, PCI, uh, Gen 3, Gen 4, coming into the chip. Um, there's also Ethernet connection, if this wants to directly connect to a network instead of connecting via a server. Um, and then also for chip-to-chip, -chip, building up uh, multi-socket, we have uh, interlocking as providing the, the bundling across the lanes uh, to write high bandwidth interconnect, and then the Tarlink cache coherence serializer um, exporting Tarlink um, as a coherent chip-to-chip -chip interconnect across the, uh, the chips. So in terms of processing tiles, um, we can use uh, our existing, so an upgrade to the, the U54MC is a thing we talked about a lot. The upgrade to that, the seven series cores is the U74MC series, which has um, a bunch of Unix capable cores, uh, high performance cores with cache coherent L1, L2 uh, cache system. You can run those as an executive tile that's managing the chip. Um, you know, the chip can run standalone, self-hosting, connected to the ethernet or it can run as a, a slave running off, hanging off the back of a server, for example, over PCIe. Um, so then the main computer array is this yellow box is really where you know, the customer secret source happens. This is where you add in your custom accelerator. So in here, we have uh, an array of compute tiles connected to the tiling fabric, expanded to support cross-chip, um, uh, you know, long-distance cross-chip connections across these arrays. Um, so each of these compute tiles, we provide a template. Um, we call, call these accelerator bays. These are places you can plug in your custom logic. And each of those places, we have a connection out of Tilink. You can add in a local memory system, scratch pad, and actually can be caches as well. Um, we can provide embedded cores or even Unix cores. Like an S7 core is a 64-bit embedded core uh, local there with DMA engine. And then on the side, you add in your custom accelerator, whatever your um, logic is. Right, so the notion is that you have many of these tiles. Each one will contain your custom logic. They could even be heterogeneous. But this is the, the template we're providing for you to uh, build your uh, custom, uh, custom engine. So I'll talk a little bit about the pieces. So the HBM2 file, uh, this came from our um, Open Silicon colleagues. Um, so this is Silicon Proven in TSMC 60 nanometer. I actually won a customer's choice award at the OIP forum last year. Um, so the pins uh, go up to 2.4 gigabit per second in TSMC 16 FFC. Um, can drive up to five millimeters uh, in the poser. We work with TSMC on packaging. Um, so using a 65 nanometer technology in the poser. And the IP supports all major uh, stack vendors and four gig or eight gig um, stacks. Um, the IP is available now. We have already have several licensees of this HBM2 IP. So please come talk to us if you're interested in this the IP. And so we have integrated Phi and the controller. Uh, we can supply all of that for this, uh, this stacker. Um, we're also working, I can announce now that I'm talking about the 60 nanometer chip platform, but we're obviously working hard to stay up with scaling. We're also working on the 7 nanometer version of this. Um, this will be HBM2. Uh, we're shooting for at least uh, 3.2 gigabits, uh, gigabits per second per pin in uh, 7 nanometer. Uh, this will be uh, available sometime soon. Uh, so interlocking. Interlocking is interesting. Interlocking is a piece of IP that uh, OpenSilicon has been a leader in supplying over 
many years, and we were surprised recently when we had a lot of interest from AI chip companies for interlocking. And interlocking, those you know, was designed for networking. So why are all these AI guys coming to us looking for interlocking IP? Um, well, the answer is it's a really great solution for providing uh, very high bandwidth chip-to-chip uh, -chip links where you want to support multiple channels and bond across multiple lanes. Um, so with the interlocking IP we have, you can bundle across 48 um, Surtees lanes um, up to 56 gig and get up to over a terabit per second uh, on a single channel. Uh, but with a very uh, convenient interface on the chip side, uh, giving you very wide parallel buses. And inside the interlocking, it handles um, flow control, forward error correction, um, all these issues. So it's a very nice piece of IP that gives you very uh, a nice connection between uh, chip to chip. And uh, as I said, Open Silicon uh, team were a leader in this, uh, over 10 years developing this, over 75 licensees of this IP, and we're seeing a surprising new interest to use this uh, as the basis for uh, a lot of AI chip, chip to chip interconnects. So what we've been doing is uh, taking this and using this to provide, putting Tarlink on top of this. So we'll, you'll be seeing a demo. Uh, you can go see a demo in the booth. Western Digital announced Tarlink over Ethernet. Uh, but basically, we've been working on Tilink over X, where X is anything. You know, Tilink over carrier pigeon or, you know, whatever you want to do. So uh, basically, we have the technology to serialize Tilink and put it over any interconnect. And uh, interlock and provides a very high bandwidth way of doing that um, as well. Um, also, high-speed Ethernet. Um, we have uh, very high-speed IP here going all the way up to 400 gig uh, per port, um, supporting all the low-level um, PCS, uh, FEC, and everything you need to build very high bandwidth uh, Ethernet connections as well, connecting to um, third-party FIs. Uh, so the brief talk here, but I just want to go over, so all these IP components, we're integrating them together to make the Freedom Revolution platform. Um, a lot of this IP is available now. So if you're interested just in some of the IP, the 7 Series cores, uh, Tiling Fabric, uh, Tiling Chip-to-Chip serialization, um, the, the HPM2 FI controller, um, uh, the Surtees, we work with our partner, um, Interlock and Ethernet. All this is available now, so we're happy to, even if you just want to take one piece, we're happy to help you with that. But also, uh, we are working on some of the other pieces, the vector and custom extensions, uh, on top of the 7 series cores, the advanced um, 7 nanometer HPM2, and uh, of course, we're always working on high performance RISC V processors. I'm giving nothing away by telling you that there'll be even better processors coming or even higher performance cores coming soon. Um, so we're happy to also work with you to put all this together with your own custom IP and make it complete uh, ASIC for you. So come talk to us if you'd like us to build your RISC-V AI chip. Okay, that's it, thanks.